charged with adultery, child endangerment, and dereliction of duty, 23-year-old senior airman Christopher Perez could face a wide range of punishments under a general court-martial. According to the military's manual for courts martial, he could lose pay, face a bad conduct or even dishonorable discharge and a range of confinement. Perez is entitled to free legal representation by the military, but can pay out of pocket for a civilian attorney if he chooses. John Young is a local civilian attorney and has defended several people in military proceedings alongside military defenders, though none of his clients were recommended for court martial. He says military trials differ from civilian trials in two major ways. First, the chain of command dynamic in the courtroom. The jurors must be uh, either senior non-commissioned officers or officers, uh, none of which can be, uh, have a rank below the rank of the accused. Second, charges can be more broad, for example, dereliction of duty or failing to obey an order or regulation. But just like a civilian trial, having unbiased jurors is crucial. You know, what constitutes dereliction of duty? And that can be many things. Obviously, in this instance, uh, very serious consequences occurred. And uh, there may or may not be evidence to support that uh, Airman Perez was, was in fact uh, derelict in his duty. But just like a civilian trial, having unbiased jurors is crucial. In any case involving a child, it's very difficult for jurors, for any of us, to, uh, to not have emotional uh, uh, feelings, to not have, uh, for facts such as that, not to have an emotional impact. It's very difficult. Uh, but I suspect that they will do their duty and do the job that they're, they're called to do and will make every effort to, uh, to, to keep emotions out of, out of their decision and follow the law. Jurors for general court marshals are selected by a convening authority rather than the prosecution and defense attorneys as in civilian trials.